Welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel and a video today on vehicle sirens, emergency services sirens. I thought I'd do a video as I've got a project I'm doing for somebody that has a private firefighting and first aid service. So they're able to use vehicles off road. So they have sirens and lights on those. What we have here is a very modern and very popular Premier Hazard Sonic 9004 siren amplifier it doesn't have a public address function on it it's basically a box for noises with no microphone input you can buy these online people on amazon sorry people on ebay are selling them between 100 and 200 pounds each they're not cheap they are british built they are very well made and they're extremely easy to use when you know the wiring diagram and the pin out functions so this is, like I said, the 9004 series Sonic. To get this to work, and if you've bought one off eBay, you probably haven't got the pigtail wiring room for it. So you really need to start with getting yourself some connectors. These are Molex Junior Minis, Mini Fit Juniors, made by Molex. I'll put a link in the description of this video. To find the description of the video, underneath the title of the video, beside where it says, um, its date when it was published to the right of that you'll see a tab which says more press that that takes you to the video description I've had many people ask how they find the description of the video it's not difficult so yeah the, the Molex connector is a Molex, Molex Mini Fit Junior it's a 16 pin connector um, so 2 by 8 as you see there and then you crimp that and you can also get the pins with that in a complete kit so you can crimp it. This um, siren has a lot of features built in on it, but a lot of features that you won't need if you've got one and you want it to make whale, hilo, pulsar, phaser sounds, etc. So really, if you've got one, make sure that all your dip switch settings on this front here, one up, two up, three down, four up, as so you've got your battery positive and negative which is battery positive is pin 16 bottom right hand corner next one along pin 15 beside that is battery negative and ground speaker outputs so you've got pin 1 pin 2 pin 1 is speaker output 100 watts full power where the red wire is, is pin 2 which is 60 watts low power so power 100 watts 60 watts pin one pin two <clears throat> they're both positive wires <clears throat> pin three is speaker ground wire so if you're having one single siren horn you can have a two-way switch <clears throat> and then you basically you've got your two wires so you've got your 60 watt and your 100 watt wires that go to the switch and then you wire the center of the switch pin to your speaker and then you can select between day and night that's how it's intended 100 watts and 60 watts if you like i said if you've got your dip switch setting on pin three down so one up two up three down four up you've got your siren powered up with a 10 amp fuse and a fuse holder make sure you're using the correct like 22 gauge um 22 american wire gauge cable good quality um, copper that isn't going to fizzle away when you put in six or eight amps through there <clears throat> and then basically the pin connectors so you've got battery positive which is pin 16 jumpers across to pin number 10 and that's your run function without having pin 10 and pin 16 linked together you'll have to add more wiring but if you jump a pin 16 to pin 10 and then all you do then is you get your horn ring transfer wire which is pin number nine and then you touch pin number nine against your battery positive so you can just wire up a single switch on your dashboard tap it once for one sound tap it again for another so on and then double tap the switch or double press the switch as they would do in a police car they double tap their horn button on the steering wheel and that turns the siren off i've currently got the siren wrapped up in towels wrapped up in more towels with a jacket on top of it in a big plastic box to suppress the sound because i've got a 100 watt siren 
in my home house basically so you've got it wired up and then basically like so tap it again and double tap turns that off and that's how that works but yeah premier hazard um 9004 sonic amplifier very compact british built um 12 volts 15 amp draw very easy to use our publisher um in the description of the video i'll post a link to the instruction manual for this siren along with all of its pin out and wiring details etc which may help you but if you found this video useful and it's helped you give it a like give it a thumbs up subscribe support the channel help it grow press the bell icon for notifications when new videos are published leave a comment share it with your friends thank you very much for watching i love you services